Samson comes through via PayPal. He writes, peace to the saints. What does it truly feel like to be on top of the world, travel anywhere you want to go, have an abundance, a freedom, and have true inner peace? People have some of these things, but are never happy. Why is that? Well, to answer your question, starting with the end, you write, people have some of these things. Yeah, they might have some of them but mostly they're pretending. And that's what we're dealing with in this world is a world of make-believe where so few people are what they say they are. You might have people on the internet who purport to be exercise gurus, but you never see them exercise, right? Me, I'm in a tank top because I'm about to get it in right after this. You have other people who purport to be wealthy, but they're really broke. You have people who purport to be many things but they are none of those things. And that is why you look from the exterior and they appear to have it all, yet the main thing they don't have is happiness, which is why their lives end in tragedy like Robin Williams from suicide, because the image that they're holding up becomes too heavy to hold. And then they crumble with that image on top of them. The number one key is realness, truth and prosperity. So you often may hear me speaking and what people may say is harsh language, but sometimes the truth is ugly. You did. And so when I'm speaking in harsh language, it's just me revealing the truth. And sometimes people find the truth to be hideous, but we need to have the guts to stare at the truth and deal with the hard work of actually becoming what we want to be or actually becoming what we say we are or becoming what we project ourselves to be. So that is a very meaningful question. And to rewind back through the question, because the saints are always detailed, accurate, very focused individuals, he writes, what does it truly feel like to be on top of the world? Well, it feels unsteady because being on top of the world is a position that others are fighting you for. So it feels unsteady. You must have peace to exist in that space. And that's an internal thing because the externalities of the economy, of money, of your spouse, of your children, these things are all variables. The constant must be what you control using your emotions. He writes, the ability to travel anywhere you want to go. You know, it's funny you say that because we're actually about to leave Dubai and go on another trip. And it took me so long to pick where to go. And that's because we can go anywhere and we can stay for any amount of time we want to stay. So you almost have the paralysis of analysis, uh, which is to say that the infinite of choices just kind of like freezes you up. But we settled on uh, one place that's quite interesting. Uh, but it feels great. It feels very free. Uh, but the key is to continue working. Often when the human being feels abundance, they become inclined to not want to work anymore. They become lazy. You know, even myself out on, um, you know, holiday for so long, it's hard to maintain that high level of physical fitness because I don't have a punching bag. I don't have a proper running track. So many things are missing. I don't have my pull up bar, you know, but you have to maintain that intensity. The war goes on in here. If you keep the war brewing in your mind, when the war externally comes on, oh, you're ready. You're like, I've been waiting for this. Let's get it in. Like me, I like to get my workout in in the morning, so I'm loose physically. So, for example, say if like middle of the day, somebody wanted to act up and get their helmet slapped off, I'm already loose and physically, you, you feel me? I'm already, you know, I'm ready to get it in. So preparation is key and you prepare everything. It starts from the mind. And you haven't made excuses. It was 122 degrees yesterday outside and we jump roped outside. Right. You got to love the work. And she's right. And the funny thing is you're probably from a region where wind chill, meaning when the wind is blowing, the effect of the wind on the temperature, wind chill usually cools the temperature. But when you're in a desert such as this, the wind chill heats the temperature. So I think it was like 105 degrees. But with the wind chill, it was 122 degrees. We still got that work in. You did got that jump rope in. Uh, got the run in, all of Went the Went to work. the gym, everything. All of the work. You dig? And she's right. There's no excuses on this side. If I would have dropped dead in that 122 degrees, 
I would be thankful as my spirit rises up to wherever it's going. I'd be looking at my carcass saying, well, that was a real one. We maxed it out, baby. We went as hard as we could go. And that's the way I want to go. He writes, how does it feel to have abundance of freedom and true inner peace? Even those with money may not feel happy. They don't have a spirit glowing within them. So money is not the great measure. Happiness is the great measure. You'll even meet people with money who are unpleasant, who are dirty, have bad habits. But someone who is happy has a glow that is attractive. And most people, if we're being real, they get money to get happiness. They get money to get women, thinking the women will lead to happiness. Not understanding that happiness is an exercise of the mental, psychological, emotional, and spiritual, all of which is already within you and has nothing to do with finances. So thank you for this meaningful question, Samson. 